In this video, I'm going to show you how to make YouTube shorts using Canva. This is useful if you need to quickly repurpose existing videos or if you need to make phone footage stand out. On my channel, we go over plenty of ways to use Canva and other software to help you create content and grow your business. If this is something you need, feel free to like and subscribe. Otherwise, sit back, relax, and let's get straight into it. Oh, and at the end, I'll share a useful tool I use to help me write my YouTube scripts. Stay tuned for that. Firstly, head over to Canva and search for YouTube Shorts. You'll find hundreds of templates in the correct dimension for a YouTube short. Here are 187. A quick tip, you can also use a TikTok template in order to create YouTube Shorts because it's the same dimensions. So if I just type in TikTok, you'll be able to see there are actually 5,000 templates related to TikTok. So you can scroll down, find one you like, and then edit from here. What I'm going to do is just create a blank template and go from here. So if you're new to Canva, this is the Canva editor. And specifically, this is the Canva video editor because you can see the timeline at the bottom. Here, this is where you can add different clips and then build out your video from here. Then you can click and drag any of these elements from the side onto your page and that's how you build up your video. What I'm going to do is build a video from scratch. So firstly, I want to add some videos. So I'm just going to use stock footage for this, but you can easily upload any footage that you've previously recorded. Here, you just upload media or click and drag a video onto here and it will be uploaded onto Canva. Then you can drag it directly onto the page. So what I'm going to do is use this stock footage here, drag that onto the page. Now, as you can see, when I drop the video onto the page, you'll also be able to see it appear on the timeline at the bottom and the length of the timeline will expand to the length of the video. So in this case, it's 9.5 seconds long but I can easily make it shorter or longer by clicking and dragging the ends. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to reposition this within the frame. So I'm going to double click the video and drag it across just so that we can get the curve of this road here. And I'm going to click away and press play to see what that looks like. Okay, so now you can click play here to play this individual frame or if the timeline's at the beginning, you can press play here and it will play the entire video clip. So what I'm going to do is just click and drag and make this shorter. So now this is going to be my intro slide as it were, and I'm going to add text to this. So I'm going to click on the text tab and then add in a heading. Adding heading gets added here. I'm just going to make it bigger. So the video I'm going to make is five useful websites for YouTubers. So I'll just type that in. Canva is quite intuitive. It has all the usual text editing features at the top. So you can change the font, the size, the color, make it bold or underline it. What I'm going to do is just click and drag the corners so you can resize it on the page or use the font size at the top there. I'm just going to space out the words just to make it a bit more readable. So as you can see, five useful websites for YouTubers. What I'm going to do is also add a background to this. So I'm just going to select the text, then click on effects. And in order to make it stand out, I mean, it's already standing out because it's white text on a black background, but you can click background here and change the background. So what I might want to do is make it gray or in fact, make it red. Now I'll just click away to lock in that edit. Now I'm just going to reselect the text. I want to add an animation to this. So I'm going to click on animate. Then here you've got loads of different animations. Make sure the text animation here is selected. If you click page animations, these animations will apply to all the elements on the page, including the video. So if I do a rise, the video would rise up and a text would rise up. I just want the text to be animated. So I'm going to select text animations. Now I want it to come in as a block like that. So I'm just going to click on 
block and now that would come in and swipe in from the left so now that's selected if i play that i'll be able to see what it looks like five useful websites for youtubers okay that's my first frame now i want to add a second page so i'm going to click another page i'm going to go back to the first page and copy and paste this text onto my second page so i'm just going to control c select the second page and then control v and then i'm going to just double click the text and just change it to what i want so i'll just remove this text pexels.com free stock videos and photos what i'm going to do is center it using this text align button at the top let me just just like that and you can adjust what the background looks like so i'm going to click back on effects and you can adjust the spread like that and you can also adjust the roundness of the edges to make it square you can play around with these settings and fine tune it how you want i'll just adjust it here just increase the spread a bit now i want to add a video to the background so i'm going to go over here click on videos and there's a selection of free and paid videos if you have a pro version of canva you can use the premium content these would be designated with a crown that says pro next to it and oftentimes if you click on the three dots you can see where the these videos have come from so you can see view more by stream maze from getty images signature so these ones are from getty images so what i'm going to do is just click and drag any of these and drag that in there again i'm going to double click and reframe to where i want I think actually the center looked pretty cool so I'm going to play that let me drag that to the start and then play and the text is inherit the animation is inherited from the previous one because I just copy and pasted it now I'm going to just do that for all the different types of videos what I can do is just click on this right click duplicate page then I'm going to duplicate this four more times so I can add in the rest of my bullet point notes. Once that's done, I can go into each new page and then just change the text and change the background image. I'll just speed up this part of the video so I don't waste your time. But essentially, I'm just adding in the four other items on my list by changing the text and changing the background image. Feel free to check out my Canva playlist. I've posted loads of Canva tutorials on my channel and this will give you more details about how to edit videos in Canva and how to use Canva in general. The last item of useful websites on my list is called Jasper AI. If you haven't heard of it, it's an AI writing assistant. I've recently started using it to help me come up with video ideas and write interesting video script hooks. If you're making YouTube shorts like this, then it can help you create content much faster. Jasper was one of the best on the market, which is why I signed up for it. I'll put a link to it in the description if you want to sign up. I'd highly recommend it if you make videos or run an online business. You'll be surprised how good it is. So let me show you how to finish this YouTube short and export it so that you can upload it to YouTube. Now I'm going to add one final page and include my website address, learnwithseb.com. Feel free to check it out and sign up to my mailing list if you want useful websites and content creation tips sent straight to your inbox. What you can also do is add an animation to say subscribe to my channel. So I'll click on elements and then I'll search for subscribe. Let's see what that comes up with. It should have different types of animation. There's pictures here. If I go to graphics should have some animated ones so now i can click and drag that onto here and it will just say subscribe or you can do this one now you've made this you can post this on youtube short or you can also post this on a tiktok it's just a short informational video of course you can use your own videos if you wish what i once that's done i'll just pause that you can click share and then download. What you want to do is download as an MP4 and make sure you download all the pages. 
because they'll be, get played one after the other. Click done, you'll be able to save that. Then you want to head over to your YouTube channel and then upload the video that you just created. YouTube will detect that it's a vertical video and create a YouTube short from it. So there you go, quick and easy way to make YouTube shorts. Now that you know how to make YouTube shorts with Canva, it's time to get creative. The sky's the limit when it comes to what you can create, so don't be afraid to experiment. And if you need some help getting started, feel free to drop uh, a message in the comments and I'll be able to answer it or someone more knowledgeable than me will be able to answer it. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. And as usual, I'll see you in the next one.